Hi, my name is Richard Price, and today we're going to be taking a look at replacing the batteries inside of the GoGo -Go Elite Traveler. Um, this particular case here, this holds a pair of 12 volt, 12 amp hour sealed lead acid AGM batteries, uh, which we do have available on our site for $52.95. Uh, now, the only two tools you're going to need here are going to be a, kind of a longer head Phillips screwdriver uh, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, the needle nose pliers is not necessary, but it's going to make the job a lot easier for you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the lid from the case. In order to do that, we're just going to flip it over here. And you can see here that you're going to have your Phillips head screws. So there's going to be two on each side here, uh, two here. And then on the back, you're going to have another set of two. Uh, so we're going to fast forward through this part to make it look easy, but we're going to take these out first. All right, so once you've loosened up all the screws there, I've removed the, the front four there, and I'm just gonna tip it over, and then we're gonna catch the other screws as they fall out here. Okay, so you gather up those screws, make sure you don't lose them, put them off to the side here. All right, and then the lid is just going to lift off. All right, and that's going to expose your battery setup here. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. There's one screw. You have two wire connections per battery, red for positive, black for negative on both batteries. It'll tie it together and make a 24 volt setup. Um, so this is where your needle nose pliers are going to come in. Uh, they're just easier to remove these. There's a little latch that you can see in there. Uh, all you have to do is apply just a little bit of pressure to those latches, and then it'll slide right off for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove both sets here. Okay, so the wiring harness has been removed. Now it's time to take out the actual batteries themselves. Uh, a note about this, you may have a little bit of difficulty when you first try to remove these. There's Velcro on the bottom of these that hold them in place in the case, um, and that's strictly for a vibration so the batteries don't move around when the scooter's going. You might have to wiggle them around there. All right. So as you can see, you've got your two Velcro strips here, and we're actually going to reuse those and put those on the new batteries. So put this off to the side for now. And let's go ahead and get out our other one. Okay, and same deal. All right, so now we're gonna take our new batteries here and we're gonna go ahead and flip them upside down and put those same Velcro strips. Actually, let's go ahead and put them on the actual Velcro strips in here. That way it'll be a perfect fit. So, we're going to go ahead and start removing this strip from the actual battery itself. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and stick it in there. So the adhesive is facing up, so when we put the new batteries in there, it'll adhere to the bottom of the battery. So let's do this. 
So I'm just going to fast forward to this part here and get all these in there. All right, this is our last one here. Go ahead and put it in there. Okay, now we're ready to put the new batteries in. So go ahead and remove the terminal covers from the new batteries there. Expose the terminals. And just set them in there just like that. So the terminals are actually facing the front of the battery pack there. Go give them a good push down there. Make sure it sticks that adhesive. Give them a good wiggle test. You should hear the Velcro. All right, and so the final step is just obviously connecting the wires. So red to red, black to black. All right, so we're good to go there. And now we can put the lid back on. Oh. <laughs> Let's put it on the right way. All right, so you're gonna have to hold the lid and flip it back over. All right, and start by putting in these four screws uh, and then you can do the ones in the back there. Right, and you're all set. Your battery pack is ready to go. All right, well, thanks for watching. Again, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery. Uh, if you have any questions about the batteries or any upgrade options we have available for the battery pack uh, itself, please feel free to give us a call toll free at 1 775 4381 or visit us at hightechbatterysolutions.com.